Dr. Courtney, um, I like to call him Dr. Courtney. <laughs> I am positively thrilled that I get to share the stage with you tonight here at the GLAAD Media Awards 2013. Make some noise. <laughs> I am also particularly honored to be part of one of tonight's nominated films, Musical Chairs. And I stand up here tonight as a first time GLAAD Media Award nominee for my blog, Blackademic, which you guys should visit, blackademic.com. <laughs> um, as a trans man, as a writer, as a filmmaker, as an artist, and as an advocate, I know how important it is that the voices of trans people of color and trans people in general are front and center in the media. This year, GLAAD supported the launch of the Trans 100. Woo! Trans 100! <laughs> Highlighting the diversity of the trans community. Laverne and I were honored to have been named to the inaugural Trans 100 list, which is so amazing, which I hope you would check out online at trans100.com. The power and influence of the internet can open minds and shift opinions, as evidenced by tonight's nominees for Outstanding Digital Journalism article. They examined the struggles of adoptees facing transition, boardroom battles, a transgender woman imprisoned in a men's facility after defending herself against a racist and transphobic attack, hate violence victims, and the rights of LGBT workers. I guess I get to announce the winner, I'm so excited. And the winner is, Why Aren't We Fighting for C.C. McDonald by Mark Lamont Hill. Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. Let's give it up for Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. <laughs> yes. Accepting for Ebony.com is writer Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. Wow. Wow. Thank you all for this. I'm so honored to be here and so honored to be awarded this wonderful, wonderful award for this article. Uh, as an academic and as a television host and as a writer, I had the opportunity to talk about many issues, uh, most of which are dealing with social justice, but no issue has been more important to me, uh, none has been more special to me than writing about Cece McDonald. For those that don't know, on June 5th, 2011, she defended herself uh, from a racist, homophobic, and transphobic attack. As a result, she was not only uh, arrested, she was not only tried, she was not only convicted, but she is now misgendered and placed in a men's prison facility. As a result, she is fundamentally facing not just an unjust sentence, but really what amounts to torture. This speaks to the many, many battles we have in front of us uh, as an LGBT community, as an ally community, as a community of people who are struggling to create a world that is more fair, more just, more democratic, and ultimately just more free. We have so much work to do, and I hope that the work that we all do tonight and the work that we do when we leave here will continue to make the world a little bit better and a little bit safer. So let us all, I, first of all, I want to thank uh, Ebony.com for taking this award uh, seriously, but also for taking this subject seriously. Many times traditional media and often black media don't take LGBT issues seriously, and for them to take it seriously and allow me to write it. They looked at it and they said, what? You writing about what? And I was like, no, 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 please, it's gonna be okay. And, and it was, and it was, and so, and it was. So finally, I just wanna send a lot of love to Ebony.com and for Ebony Magazine for taking the subject seriously and for taking a risk. Uh, and ultimately, I wanna thank you all for, for, for giving me this award and for showing some love. And like, can we all just say free CC? Can everybody, on the count of three, say free CC. One, two, three. Free CC. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the upcoming Netflix original series, Orange is the New Black, I play an African-American trans woman who is incarcerated. Um, every day that I showed up to work, I thought about Cece McDonald and the many trans women of color all across this nation who were unfairly incarcerated. I am still furious. I'm angry that Cece is in prison simply for defending herself, but I'm so moved by her courage and leadership, even from behind bars. Um, let us not forget Cece McDonald and all the survivors, all our LGBT survivors of all races and economic backgrounds. I hope all of us will work with GLAAD and support their work to push for accurate news coverage of the trans community and women like Cece. Thank you so much, Mark, for sharing Cece's story. Thank you.